Greetings from Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute, Mumbai, India. I am Dr. Nandini Gokul Chandran, the Deputy Director of Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute. Neurogen Brain and Spine Institute uh, was started about 15 years back for holistic treatment of incurable neurological disorders. We have treated almost 15,000 patients from over 100 different countries. The, uh, what we do is a comprehensive treatment approach uh, for various uh, incurable neurological disorders for children such as autism, cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, muscular dystrophy in adults for uh, individuals with brain stroke, spinal cord injury and adult muscular dystrophy uh, to name a few. In autism, we have a comprehensive treatment which combines cellular therapy or cell therapy along with uh, other advanced treatments like hyperbaric oxygen therapy, ozone therapy. Uh, we also look at the gut of the child. We look at the gut microbiome from the stool to understand the gut health of the child so that it can be corrected. We also look at the nutrient level in the child's body, for example, vitamin D, vitamin B12, the folic acid, uh, and do more detailed analysis of neurotransmitters as well as correction uh, of uh, inactive or inaccessible nutrients and supply them through the understanding of uh, the genetic mechanisms. So this holistic treatment has been going on for last 15 years and we keep on evolving. In autism, we have treated almost 4,000 patients so far from various different countries, different age groups. Uh, our result in terms of our uh, scientific publications analysis reveals that when children are less than five years, uh, the results are the best. The children be, uh, between 0 to 5 years, we see almost 95 to 97 percent success rate in terms of uh, significant improvement in change of their autism severity from high to low, from moderate to severe to mild to moderate, improvement in their social age, reduction in the uh, gap between the chronological age and social age, which indicates a quantitative improvement. Apart from that, brain scans such as PET CT scans of the brain also reveal that improvement in brain functioning and metabolism is seen in these children. Uh, the second best uh, results are between 5 to 10 years or, or rather between 5 years to puberty where we find that almost 90% of children show good improvement uh, when combined when cell therapy is combined with good intensive holistic rehabilitation which is guided by our therapists, our doctors over a period of three to four years we can help children who have not been going to school to integrate into the school. Those who are above in uh, puberty also show good improvement and the results are enhanced more since we uh, added hyperbaric oxygen therapy to this treatment. So this is in nutshell the results in autism. I would now like to um, talk about a couple of case reports or, or case studies from uh, children from Uzbekistan. So Uzbekistan, uh, we know uh, Uzbekistan for Tashkent and in India we know uh, this place more for the origin of Taj Mahal, that's where the Taj Mahal, the concept of Taj Mahal came from as well as for Lal Bahadur Shastri's last days in this, in this uh, beautiful land. I had the opportunity to go to Tashkent, this beautiful city and meet the warm people there and we have treated many children from Uzbekistan. One of them is a five-year-old, five-year, one-month-old child, Ibrahim. He came to us about 11 months back. The first time when he came, his severity was more, he was moderate to severe uh, in, in his autism uh, scale. Uh, his understanding was low, he had very few words, he was very hyperactive, he would laugh without reasons, he would hardly ever follow commands or respond to his name. Uh, he had a lot of sensory issues like hair cutting and nail cutting and all this prevented his development and uh, prevented him from going ahead in his developmental milestones. After the cell therapy about 11 months back, over a period of uh, 6 months to 9 months and 11 months, there were good improvements noted in this child. And when he came to us again and we looked at his improvements, we found that hyperactivity has reduced by 60 to 70 percent. His command following had improved his attention and concentration, ability to sit in one place and do various activities improved by 30 to 40 percent, which had not been there before. 
his sensory issues reduced he now allowed hair cutting and nail cutting for parents this is a very important milestone just imagine a child with shaggy hair how how do you you know uh, keep the child clean and such hygiene is very important so sensory issues get connected to better hygiene as sensory issues improve the child's ability to take care of himself also improved now he is able to sit in one place and finish the food uh, he is now able to write a few uh, numbers he he now recognizes fruits and he recognizes objects daily uh, objects of daily living uh, he can recognize animals uh, he started vocalizing so he did have a few nonsensical words earlier now the vocabulary has improved and he imitates and repeats the words that his mother says now social awareness has improved so he looks at other children and he tries to follow them and does better parallel play terms of his uh, scores he was 38 on the childhood autism rating scale which is moderate to severe and barely in 11 months it came down to 37 so he's almost on the verge of coming down to mild to moderate his social age when he came to us first it was 2 year 10 months so for a 5 year old child his social age was 2 year 10 months and in 11 months the social age which was going ahead very slowly you know Uh, went ahead to three or ten months. So in eleven months, it moved about a year. So we are happy with this progress. Uh, not only clinical improvements, we also saw very good improvement in the brain scan uh, for uh, quantitative and for uh, objective uh, understanding of what's happening in the brain after cellular therapy. We do a PET CT scan before the treatment, which gives us a output or readout of which parts of the brain are affected. PET CT scan is a functional scan which through the absorption of glucose in the brain uh, and quantification of the same gives us an understanding how a child a child with autism's brain is different from a neurotypical child so in ibrahim's brain we found that the part of the brain uh, which are important for processing of information motor and sensory that is thalamus was was functioning less the cerebellum was functioning less the medial temporal area for understanding and in learning comprehension language was functioning less and in 11 months after 11 months when we did the brain scan again we found that all these areas which are functioning less have now started functioning better so when a brain scan is done and and it is analyzed using color spectrum the blue here indicates low functioning brain while the green yellow and red indicates better functioning brain so all the areas you can see in the brain scan they have improved the whole of the cortex the part of the brain which was though functioning optimally has improved in functioning that indicates that the brain is now eager to learn and that's what we see that after cellular therapy the brain is now hungry for more stimulation hungry for learning and some uh, and in ibrahim's case we have seen the improvements because the mother worked on this child beautifully